Hapa tunao vijana wawili pamoja na mzee ambao wametoka kambini Gatumba ambao imepatwa na vita kabla ya kuwawa watu 166 uh, kwa usiku mmoja bila kukawa acha tuwasikilize kwa majina yao wakijitambua wenyewe karibuni I'm Claude Mukwi I'm one of the survivors of the Gatumba massacre um, I survived at age 7 by going through one of the tents that was in from the back we ran into the woods we st- we stayed there for hours waiting for help and we waited waited but no help showed up until we wait for the war to finish we were with my brother who was shot that he was the one that also told me that my sister was the one who got killed at the camp we stayed there with him shot with no help no medicine or nothing until to the point where he told us that he was feeling sleepy and thirsty our heart dropped at that time because we thought he was going to die at that night but thank god that we are here now but what we need to do now is work together It doesn't matter if you Mbembe, Munyamurenge, Mfurero, but we all have to be together. That's why we here now. It's not just the justice now of Katumba refugee people, but it's the justice of every Munyamurenge person to have the right to live in Congo in peace. That's what we all here to do. Ha nubwo duhindura imvugo ni impamvu duhindura imvugo nuko hariho amoko atandukanye kandi muri Kongo Kongo igizwe n'indimi zitandukanye na amoko atandukanye reka tuganire n'ishuti hagati unaweza ukazungumza kwa lugha ambayo unaweza kufikiria karibu Asante sana ndugu kwanza mbele ya yote acha ni nitambulishe kwa lugha yangu ini ni lembembe ile mwana wa balaa na ni moishi ange na loishi na bado wa bwana nikambe muchonge lo lusukura lo ba wa amwamu alo tole na musuko a licho ya kabato bibi le bitu bitanga chamanga na lo musuko tolo muchonge ta ole ni bwana ale nyamurenge wala no ale mbembe tonde kwa chose tuko muchonge no mbakato ngile ya tokongo na furai sana ndugu kwa swali lako ambalo umesema kweli kama ulivyo sema ajali ambayo tupita pale ama leo tuua haikuchagua huyu ni nyamurenge wala huyu ni mbembe kifu inapofika haitaarifu mtu na hata leo hapa tulipo wenye kwa Marekani wenye kwa uh, Canada tunakufa na sote tunazikwa ni ile mazishi moja kwa hiyo mtu ni mmoja tunatumika makazi hapa tuko wa moja huyu anaacha mwenzake kazi huyu anaacha mwenzake watoto sisi wenye kwa Bulaya ni chungia watoto naenda sokoni lakini ni sisi tena tunaleta tatizo kule kwetu nyumbani ingelikuwa mzuri tufanye kitu ya mzuri vile jinsi tunaelewana huko tulitoka huko kwa moja vita ya kwetu Kongo ikatupeleka sisi wote makambini kambini tukakimbia tena wale wazungu na kiatuunganisha tunakuwa tena fasi moja huko Ulaya kwa nini tusilete tila ya amani ambayo tuko nayo huko Ulaya tupeleke kule kwetu nyumbani wazazi wetu wako kule shangazi zako wako kule shangazi zangu wako kule lakini ni sisi tena tunachochea mambo ya vita kule nyumbani ingelikuwa heri yale yaliyopita yasirudile tena ya gatumba sio tu gatumba hata kambini zingine hata fasi zingine wanaokufa kila nafasi masakri ya namna ile sio mzuri kwa wanadamu wenzetu wanatafuta amani hawatafute kuwana uh, shida ambayo tunayo uh, sio kongo tu i, i, Yaani inaonekana kwamba ni Afrika mzima. Yes. Je, silaha inaweza kuleta amani ama sisi wenyewe tunaweza tukaleta amani? Ah, oh. uh, Munyamulenge ameua mbembe. Yes. Mbembe ameua Munyamulenge. Yes. Mbembe ameua Mfulero. Mfulero ameua mbembe. Yes. Na mbembe ameua uh, Mfulero ameua Munyamulenge yes. na Munyamulenge kwa Mfulero. Yes. We young and the only way a country can prosper is by us working together. There's a lot of hatred in, in Congo, but we also need people that will use love against hatred. We see throughout history, Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, and Martin Luther King. They didn't use hatred when they wanted to get rights for their people. We have to do the same thing. We have to go back to Congo and fight for the rights of every single Congolese person, not just Munyamurenge person, Omubembe person, Omufulero, but every single Congolese person. 
you know, we, we will not do that by guns, machetes, or any other type of violence. The only way we will be able to move forward is by using peace. With peace, if we are not born to be evil, we are taught to be evil. We are taught to hate other people. If a person is taught to hate another person, then that means they can be taught to love that person. And love comes easy. Nelson Mandela said that. And look where his country is at. And we must do that. We must follow those footsteps of those people that use peace to gain civil rights for their people. We must, we must do the same thing for our people. And so we must stop the violence. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your third and uh, we very appreciate you on behalf of Imurenge. Ndugu unaweza ukaeleza gisi umeokoka katika tatizo hilo ama vita hiyo ya igatumba. Nashukuru sana ndugu mtangazaji. Ah, wengi tunaweza tukasema tumesahau lakini yale aliyokupata uwezo kayasahau. Ah, tulitoka nyumbani kwetu tukaja pale katumba kama wakimbizi wengine. Tuliishi pale na wandugu, tuko na amani kabisa na tunatarajia siku moja tutarudi majumbani kwetu. Lakini ilipofika hiyo siku ilikuwa siku ya tano, mwezi wa nane tariki 13 usiku wa masaa ine. Tulisikia kama vile watu wanapiga shangwe za haleluya. Tunawaza kama ni kawaida, tuko na waombaji wengi wanaomba kamule, kumbe walikuwa ni maadui zetu. Masasa yakaanza tulijua kama ni ile Burundi ni kila mara wanakuja kuiba manyama uh, mangombe mifugo wanaenda nayo lakini kwa bahati mbaya tukasikia watu wanaanza lalamika na wanaanza uwana kweli walikuja wakaanza wa watu hata kwetu walipofika waliingia hata manyumba kwa watu tulipoteza watu wengi watoto walipotea wamama walipotea bila kujua bila kujua umri wa mtu kila mtu waliwa mimi mwenyewe kweli nilikuwa niko pale tunalala hinja na watu wengine tu walikuwa angani na maplaza zingine za kutengeneza hata ma shitingi zingine wakati tulitoka nilikimbia mnyumba wakati nilipokimbia mnyumba babangu mzazi alitwambia hapana msikimbie ni watu wanakuja tu kupora manyama ingelikuwa mzuri mpumzike chini msije mkapata masasi zile ya kuponyoka ponyoka tulipoingia pale mtoto wa huyu mzee mwenye kuwa hapa ni yetu tulikuwa tunalala naye na familia ya mzee Prudence na tulikuwa tunakaa naye mule mnyumba mtoto wake alifanikiwa kupata masasi wa kwanza na alipopata masasi alisema hapana mimi sitakubali nifie hapa afadhali wende waniue alienda tu na ni mtu wa kwanza alipata masasi mwele nyumba yetu wa kufuata alikuwa mamangu mzazi alipenda kutoka akapata masasi akapigia masasi mtumbu hiyo wakati alikuwa mjamzito wa miezi sita mtoto mdogo ndani tumbo lakini mtoto akokufa utumbo tumbo wa kuumia kila kitu kilikuwa nje kama vile mzazi mimi mwenyewe wakati nilipokuwa na pale naweza nikasema ni miujiza ya Mungu si haikukua uwezo wangu wala haikukua kitu kingine juu ni mahema tu kwa mnyumba eti ya mabriki wala kitu kingine na ile hema unapopakua ile hema eti utoe kichwa ni pale walikuwa wanamalizia moto Nilitoka pale wameisha malizia watu wote nilijikokota nyuma kidogo nikakaa pale ile wakati niko pale wengi walikuja hata kuja na pima hata watu kwa masikio huyu mtu angani mzima ama namna gani waliunguza moto nyuma ya pale baba yangu mzazi ni hapo alipokufa walimunguzi waliunguza moto na ile shitingi yao ilipokamata moto aliungua hata kwa kichwa na mara moja akakufa pale juu walimvunja miguu yote na kiuno yote kwa masasi wengi waliokufa pale ndugu yangu kweli tulikuwa ma innocent na tulipokuona sikujua ni wapi nilipokuwa nilikuja kuogotwa kama vile nyama wanawaza labda na mimi ni mahiti kati ya mahiti zingine tulienda tukasafirishwa kama vile ndugu alivyosema ni mzee David ndio mwenye tulikuta mtu wa kwanza mubarabara anaonesha watu ni wapi kwenye tutaenda tulienda tukatiwa pale ku clinic clinic tukaanza sopa watu kupeleka bujumbura kule bujumbura sasa ndio ilikuwa tatizo watu mama yangu mzazi alikuwa tabani ndugu yangu niliteseka sana uone umri wa mama yangu na niko mtoto mdogo ni mimi nilikuwa nageuza mama yangu kitandani na mpeleka chooni na murudisha mtu iko pale tabani hana kitu cha kufanya hakuna tena ile haya huyu ni mama yangu siwezi nikambeba chooni lakini kwa miujiza ya Mungu nilishukuru ile mimba alizaa na mtoto tuko naye na wengine wote wenye walipata hiyo majani wengi walipona ya muhimu zaidi yenye na shukuru na shukuru sana hii serikali ambazo zilitupokea serikali ya USA, serikali ya Canada na wengine wote wenye walijiwakilisha ili kupokea sisi wakimbizi waliosikia malalamiko yetu Mungu azidi kuwabariki. Pia nakumbuka na wale wote ambao walibakia kule. 
nao Mungu awachadie ili wapate kuja kama vile familia ya pastori Binyonyo wangali kule na waliteseka na walipoteza na watoto mke wake aliumia wale wote wangali kule ndugu yetu na tuzidi kufanya hili ili kumkumbuka hata wengine wenzetu wenye kwa kule wenye kwa na kumi amsaidie juu tulipita sisi wote kwenye ile matatizo asante sana asante sana bila kuchukua muda uh, ninaweza nikawajulisha watu kwamba uh, tunawa uh, tunawapongeza sana kwa mambo ambayo mmepata ajali hiyo uh, leka kongere kandi dushimire abakunzi bacu uh, tukongera tubibutsa kuko ababyeyi uh, turi kumwe nabo izishuti turi kumwe nabo ari bamwe mu bacika cumu mu gatumba e, kandi aramo katandukanye uwo mubona hagati yashatse umunyamurenge e, ariko ari mu bwo kugwa babembe uyu mugabo turi kumwe ahanga hiburyo uh, yashatse umupfurera ariko no munyamurenge icyo dushobora kugira abantu nukura ngo tumenye ko turi umwe nkuko uwo musore yabivuze ibumoso yavuze ngo tuvukana ubwiza ariko twigishwa inabi tukaba dushimiye ishuti n'abavandimwe tunababwira ngo pole kubzaga umwahuye nabyo dusabira n'ishuti n'abavandimwe badusize tubasabira iruko redashira murakoze mu kiganiro cacu ni David Manoa kubwa imurenge kwenkome murakoze Imorenge.com